I first came to TLP, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to hear three weeks max. When you think shelter, you think like a thousand people in my room. And like, honestly, like, I don't think of this place like as a shelter. You know, I, I think of it as like a home. People, I know these people here and um, I, know, I know I'm not in danger, basically. Because I'm able to lay my head down whenever I want to and go to sleep and don't got to worry about nobody stealing nothing. Um, beat me up in my sleep, I don't gotta worry about none of that. The blind for me, come away, cause I can't live my life this way. The one for me, come away, cause I can't live my life this way. We provide a space, a safe space where young people can come and build on the foundations that they've already had and put a lot more skills into their basket, um, put a lot more skills into their tool belt, and then they can kind of like figure out what their pathway or their life roadmap is. Hey, I've been dealing with teen living program for two years now. And from then to now, I have grown up a whole lot. I have grown up a whole lot. I used to just be, just be out in the street. And now I got things to look forward to. What I do at Payless is basically I help the customers with shoes and everything. Um, I work the register. Payless was like the first application I filled out. And um, Bonnie Wade, uh, she helped with my resume and my cover letter. And um, that was a big help towards me getting a job, helping me get where I am today. As far as like being able to make money and uh, able to start up my own business because I rap and I make instrumentals and now I can get my business cards going and I can save money from my own studio. That's my computer. We really approach the youth here holistically um, and we kind of wrap around them and really support them in, in helping to build and create the lives that they want. My plan is to go back to college and complete uh, two years of pre-pharmacy and then go into the uh, bachelor's program for the pharmacy to be a registered pharmacist. I was pretty much homeless at the time. I was trying to complete school, trying to hold on to a job, but I didn't, pretty, I didn't have a place to lay my head at night. I was 18 years old when I first found out about Teen Living Program. They supported me through the schooling. They actually helped me with the scholarship to get into pharmacy tech, tech and uh, I pursued it. They helped out with the um, bus cards so I can get back and forth to work until I'm able to afford my own way. They were always there. They were always there with their hands out. Anything I needed to uh, use their uh, facilities for uh, the computer, books, anything. Half the things that I'm doing now I thought couldn't be done. I didn't know that I had the ability to do them. They gave me that extra push and the extra love and they really supported me through everything that I've done, everything. They never said no, you couldn't do it. They always said yes, you can do anything you want to do. Me, I to live in abandoned buildings with drug, drug abusers. They shoot up needles in front of me, do crack, and I wasn't a part of that. But I'm the seen it, and that's that's the most terrible thing you can see in your whole life, and it's scary. That's what I can say. My kids don't need to be out in the streets. This is a new start for me right here. Tell me about how you came to be in this situation. Uh, all this stuff happened after my grandma died. So what happened to you when your grandmother passed? As I stopped communicating with people, I didn't really talk to nobody. It was like, eh. when I lost my grandma, I lost like my best friend. And my grandma, she 
She was the one that raised me, took care of me. Mm-hmm. Taught me how to iron and all that, wash my clothes. My mama ain't do none of that. So I gave you two sets of bedding and three of the undershirts and the overshirts, hangers, uh, a long clock, laundry basket. I'm gonna give you three towels, three face towels. Um, and then boxers and toiletries. They give you so much. They care so much about you and try to do so much for you. Other places, they just do what they ha have to do, what they get paid to do. But for them, it's beyond. It's like, they do get paid to do it, but they go beyond it. We're able to really give them a lot of one-to-one -one individual attention. I work at Whole Foods. I work overnight, which is graveyard shift to some people. I mainly work in grocery, restocking. I'm gonna work my way through college. The main key thing that I really need to succeed in life is a college degree. Not every story is a fairy tale ending, but every story um, of the young person that we work with, we want to support um, for as long as they'll allow us to support them. Also have a program that they can graduate into called CASA, and it's our clustered and scattered site apartment program. And this is a program where young people can find an apartment in the community of their choice. We'll subsidize their rent and um, their groceries. But in that two years, um, they're able to build their savings, continue to build their skill, whether that's um, academically or career or both. They just believed in me to make me believe in me. And that's one way that I really found the way that I want to go. So there's also almost like a sister, a brother. It's the images that you often get in the media that uh, sometimes scare you. And then when you actually end up talking with a young person here, they have the same hopes, dreams, fears as, um, for example, my own children do. I have uh, young adult children. And in many ways, they're no different. In many other ways, there's a great difference. But in terms of the depth of their humanity, what makes us all commonly connected to each other, uh, all those things are very similar. The thing that really struck me was the pureness of the mission and the need for this type of work to actually happen. Uh, the agency is very unique in that it provides all the way from emergency shelter all the way through uh, substantial and uh, substantive housing outside of the agency. That makes it very unique because once someone comes into the TLP family, they're never out of the, the loop again, whether they are living here in the residential facility of Belford House or whether they are out in Casa, they've gotten their own apartment, they have the ability to come back in.